me in saluting a soldier, a philanthropist, a loving father, and an extremely generous patron of the arts, General Newsom. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I am not a traditional art lover. I don't know the difference between a Picasso and a car crash. But I love my country. I can't stand the idea of a bunch of Frenchies owning America's greatest painting. Let's go. Welcome home. Speech. Congratulations, David. And Dr. Bean's speech about the painting. Uh, uh, yes, of course, the speech. Now, Doctor, try to keep it below an hour. You know, there could be one joke in it. That would be nice. Good morning, America. Couldn't give a flying monkey about isms and, uh... Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't have to go on for long. Just, Dr. Bean, just, just, we're ready. Just, 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 just. And now, uh, for the second highlight of our day. Dr. Bean, great English art scholar. <laughs> is here to speak for a few minutes, not too long, Doctor, <laughs> on the subject of our new purchase. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Bean of the National Gallery of England. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, hello. I'm Dr. Bean, apparently. And, and my job is to sit and look at paintings. Um, so, um, what have I learned that I can say about this painting? Um, well, well, firstly, it's quite big, which is excellent, because if it was really small, you know, microscopic, and hardly anybody would be able to see it, which would be a tremendous shame. And um, secondly, and I'm getting quite near the end now of this analysis of this painting. Secondly, um, why was it worth this man here spending 50 million of your American dollars on this portrait? And, and, and the answer is, um, well, this picture is worth such a lot of money because it's a picture of Whistler's mother. And as I've learned by staying with my best friend, David Lamley, and his family, families are very important. And even though Mr. Whistler was perfectly aware that his mother was a hideous old bat who looked like she had a cactus lodged up her backside. <laughs> he stuck with her and even took the time to paint this amazing picture of her. It's not just a painting. It's the picture of a mad old cow who he thought the world of. Shut up. I'm Mr. Lang. Okay. Pick up the phone.